there welcome back to my channel my name is Shelby and today I'm going to be doing a series review for what he doesn't know by Candy Steiner I recently read all three of the books in the series and I just want to give you guys my thoughts I will link them all down below and let me know if you guys have read them and what your guys's thoughts on them are so originally Candy Steiner's series was actually supposed to be a duet and then everyone wanted an additional book and so now there are three so the first one is called What He Doesn't Know, and this follows a married woman named Charlie. Her husband's name is Cameron, and currently their marriage is just not very happy. I think they've been married for eight or nine years, and they just don't have much of a sex life. They don't spend much time together. Cameron is always working, and Charlie feels emptiness inside. She just feels really sad. She is a teacher at a local private school in the town of Mount Lebanon where they live, and she comes back from winter break pretty upset from just how her life is going and she is introduced to a new teacher and his name is Reese and it just so happens that she knows Reese from her childhood and it was her first love she loved him as a teenager and then he went off to New York and went to music school and taught um, in New York and now he is back and they are definitely attracted to each other and Reese is a tortured soul. He did a lot of drugs and alcohol while he was in New York. But then something bad happened while he was there and it kind of put his life in perspective. And so he decided to move back to his hometown and stop doing what, like what he was doing over in New York and took a teaching position in his hometown. And he always had feelings for Charlie as well. And he learned she's married, but that does not stop him from having feelings for her. And Charlie can't help but have feelings for Reese, even though it is completely taboo. So this book is not only taboo, but it's a love triangle between her, Reese, and her husband Cameron. And then we go into book number two, which is called What He Always Knew. And it is Charlie, she's made a choice of what she wants. And then her husband says, I actually want two more months to win you back. So she had two months to fall in love with Reese. And then her husband asks her, well, give me two months to make you fall back in love with me. And so she does. And you think you know who you want her to be with. And then you read book number two and you could go either way. And she takes that whole book re-exploring her marriage, exploring her relationship with Reese. And she waits until the very last couple of pages to make her decision. So it is long and drawn out and agonizing. And equally steamy with both her and her husband and Reese and I just wanted her to pick one I wanted to know who it was I didn't really care who it was at that point I just wanted her to choose and I absolutely loved the first two books I gave them both five stars and I really do like the decision that she made I don't want to spoil anything but I really like the decision she made and I think it was the right one and then we're going into book number three which is called what he never knew and this is about the man that Charlie didn't choose because everyone really liked that guy um, after reading both books and because we got to see good sides of both guys and so they really wanted to see basically what happened to this person after Charlie denied him and his second chance love story and um, I will stop you here if you haven't read the first two books I'm going to give spoilers away I want to talk about who the third book is about but if I talk about it um, previously like I don't want to give away the first two books so here's your fair warning you can exit now so the third book like I said is called what he never knew and this follows Reese because Charlie did not choose Reese she ended up choosing her husband and it's been about two years now and Reese hasn't moved on he's still madly in love with Charlie and since he's so close to her family she's still heavily ingrained in his life and she's kind of not letting him move on even though she made her choice and so he's pretty miserable and in comes his love interest. Her name is Sarah. Sarah is 16 years younger than Reese. She is going to a music school. She's 21 years old and she plays the piano. Well, something awful happens to her right before her graduation. So a semester before she's so close to graduating, but something happens to her and it's so bad that she needs to leave. So she leaves and she goes to stay with her uncle in Mount Lebanon. And her uncle actually is Reese's boss and has Reese be Sarah's teacher to help her with a piano injury that she has and so it is teacher and student and they are working together on the piano and a romance ensues between the two of them it is 
taboo because of the age gap and because her Sarah's uncle is Reese's employer but they cannot resist each other and it was a cute book I definitely did not like it as much I found Sarah although she's a strong character I found her to be a little bit annoying and she wasn't my favorite um, for a female lead and I much prefer Reese as a character over Sarah and I just didn't really see their connection that much like I just didn't feel it like I did with Charlie's book so I didn't really feel the romance between him and Sarah so this one I ended up giving three stars I just feel like the duet could have been left at a duet I don't feel like I needed this story with him and Sarah because I feel like I could have imagined him just with someone better um but I did enjoy it and it was a great like little conclusion and I got to see tidbits of different parts of the story that I liked from the first two but I definitely don't think it needs to be read. I think the two books as a duet was perfect and those ones are five stars but this one was kind of just like an afterthought and I hate saying that because I love Candy Steiner but this one just didn't work for me quite as well as the first two and like I said earlier let me know if you guys have read these books and if you liked them and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!